Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Ahuvalux. Welcome, bienvenido, crosui, salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Chesh Nyakshimash. I am here doing this video right now, sitting on the sofa of Beko 1987. And there you can see in the background is the shed of broken dreams. So what we're going to be doing in this video, if you can hear in the background, we can hear his voice. So what I'm going to do is turn the camera around and we'll see what Sam's up to. So there he is. There's Mr. Sam Watson sitting at his computer, rendering videos that he's been making. So we get to see a bit of an in-depth behind the scenes of what Sam gets up to. So like I said, we are here in his house. There's the shed of broken dreams again. And we have been making videos. We've got all our equipment. So let's take a look around and see what we got. So here I can see a brown hot point. Um, very, looks very similar, kind of like juniorish from the back. Here we have an old Electrolux. Here we have a Nilco that is in the process of being worked on. There we have a celebrity. Now you would have seen a video on that on Sam's channel. Here we have some tools for the Hoover Deluxe. That came with the celebrity as well. That's gonna be part of the refurb. If I swipe you over to this side, we still haven't done the unboxing of my Henriette. Empty boxes, boxes of empty boxes of broken dreams. Two Hoover Juniors. We've been doing, Sam's been doing videos on, you'll see them at some point. A hamster that's asleep and a fan. So this is the little workstation of Sam. Ah! Hello! Hello! We thought we would just come and see a behind the, behind yeah. the scenes. Welcome, I'm just, I'm editing the Hayward Junior Art video. Ah, so you, oh my God, that is, that looks very complicated, all that editing. I wouldn't have a clue where to begin. It's another job. Well, let me stop this then, because, ah. So this is where so you do all your editing. I mean, my dinner and browsing. So yeah, this Everything. Is the oh, what is that? This is the computer that Gareth made me. Ah. The AMD 2600. I like the keyboard all lit up. This is this is the cheapest mechanical keyboard with actual mechanical switches on eBay at eleven pounds something delivered. Oh wow, that's really good with all those lights as well. Oh, but I mean, it's nice to type on. Yeah. On, if I just open up, it's lovely to type on, but the speed I type at, it goes to the keys, and I end up putting two or three letters <laughs> in the same place. So it, it's possibly about to. I haven't unplugged it yet because it's all behind there. Over to, like replaced with this twelve pounds Microsoft Bluetooth. Keyboard, oh yeah, I like which that. Which is one. a bit nicer, but not quite as nice. Yeah. But yeah. so all your how long does it take you on average then to edit a video? About Ten minutes. Oh wow! It literally didn't take long at all. You do it because you... well because like you, I don't mess around with cutting out stuff that doesn't work or yeah. reshooting size related term. It's just doing the bits between the clips I just jump straight to the end of that clip and do the next bit unless I've written something down to put in the edit especially like so us and the viewers would like you to take us on a tour would of they? Beckle House <sighs> so we've had a little look at the stuff the that's fun. going on in the living room you've done the fun we have you right so, so we had a little look there's nothing else in here well not actual vacuum well, this is full of just bits okay tools and bags and stuff that I just can't okay, that's stick very handy share. Stuff that you need to grab at a moment's notice. Basically, this is where all of the ongoing stuff usually ends up. So this is all the non-washables for the... Ah. For these. I've started doing Ooh, those. the Royale. What do you think, viewers and Dorian? I don't want to paint that. Because that's where that you just don't get from... That's a nice patina. <sighs> I, th I think it would look wrong being sanded and made mint, wouldn't it? It all depends on the machine. Are, are you sort of like... We need to see how it, it comes out, do you think? Yeah, I would. Because if the machine yeah. comes out looking like new, Maybe, then yeah. that possibly might come out looking odd. Mm. But if it's still got its kind of like a bit of an original patina, then that would match in with it really well. Let's see how you do. These are actually from 
Julius has seen Ah, yes, I recognise yeah. these. That's for that. That's for the Celia 652C, but I've nicked so many bits from it now. I don't think it will actually go back together. Uh, what else we got? These are the uh, these are the coils from the Royals. So oh is, my gosh! This is the second best one, I think. <gasps> Could that can be washed? Can it? Uh, I probably won't. I'll probably just clean this. All right. Okay. Try and heat shrink it up, although well, I can't because that goes into the carbon brush. There's, mm. there's, there's lots to do. Wow. So that's sort of all the rubbish. Oh, is that a senior motor there? That is a senior motor that I was going to do up and sell, but then I was asked by somebody mm. that they might have these ones, so it's just sat there. We've got the machines at the top, did you see Oh, that? no, I didn't see that one no, sitting up there. There's the DC46, look, from Switzerland. Ah. I've done a video on it, but don't worry about scheduling it when it comes out. <laughs> It'll be out at some point. Uh, clean. I haven't done a before video on that yet, actually. Oh, wow. Apparently it sounds terrible. I've got one similar to that, I'm if, sure I have. If we get bored later, we could do one of those, because that would be a turn on outside job. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Apparently sounds awful. Yeah. There's your surprise. Oh, yes. You would have seen that. 2006 vintage NZXT Lexa computer case. It is part of a project that me and Gareth, who built that computer, were doing. That would make a really nice fish tank. No, it wouldn't. And next to it is an AMD Athlon 64 Windows XP machine pre refurbishment. What's that handle from? That's an Electrolux? No, it is a Hoover Junior 119. Oh. It, it goes with all the tools for the. I found a nice set of tools for the Hoover ah. Junior. That's just, that's the Electrolux used to do the same kind they of thing with the vented. Yeah, yeah that is, that's just, it's just lying around everywhere. Maybe so the kids don't get hold of it. So oh, and there we have the V11. Which is full of Dunny Don Maker. <coughs> yeah, there was. And these are your test carpet boards. Yes, we've had these out. They don't live there, but we'll, we'll Yeah, we popped them there because we'll be using them yeah. again, definitely. That's why I wish they were bigger, but then it's handy that they do that. Yeah, exactly. There's something I can see on the floor here. There's a box. I've got to have them that either. That was a five an auto jumble at the Charmondly Thousand Classic Cars. It's broken. Mm. <laughs> it snapped a bit. Kitchen, there's not much in the kitchen. No, we've done a washing machine video. Dorian's so had a cup that. of coffee in the Hoover Professional mug. Love it. So yeah, it there. tasted better. Yeah. This is. Wow. Where the dailies sit. These are the dailies. So we have cordless corner, which isn't wired up yet. I keep meaning to, you know, upstairs where the plug is, where the. Oh, yeah. To drop a cable straight down uh, there and just have a four way plugged in. Yes. But I haven't done it yet, so I need to run the lead to charge them up. There's the 345, which at the time of filming this is still just about in use. There's a DC25 that I've refurbished, it just needs paying for and collecting. Wow. And, and, and that's that looks heavy, really good. It came out lovely. Yeah. Oh, 70 quid there. And that's the Hayward Junior. That's the 119, is yes, it? Yes. It is. And that's switch, your paint though. job, isn't it? It's my paint it's job. It's really good. Yeah, it's the hammerite hand. paint matched perfectly. Yeah. I've even painted the handle as well. Everything I was painted. And as you stand, yes. and then we got the tin, Tinco. Is it Tinco or Tinico? Yeah, which you're in agreement with me. That it's yeah, it's. Um, it's I, honestly, I thought it was kind of like a budget version of the Dyson. So I was like. Oh, I reckon that must be about, well, 150, 200 quid max. And it's like, how much? Not far off of the 11. It's just, I, it's just absolutely not worth the money, even it's though I do really like it. Way, but yeah. The filter, we only just whipped it round really quickly and the filter on the inside got just kicked. Yeah. I think it won't be long. I'll probably get a couple more videos out of it and then box it up nicely out of the way. And move on. And then this is your transformer thing to My free use transformer, the yes. elect to use the American vacuums. Yep. There's a Daddy Long Legs there. Oh. It's Daddy Long Legs season in Oxfordshire. Where is it? Down there. By the fog. Put down there. Oh yeah. Bye. Lots of Daddy Long Legs. Mm. Right. Okay. So let's do an Annika Rice. Let's move up the stairs. He's running up the stairs. <laughs> Oh, top of the landing, top of the morning. What do we the, have here? The disgraced Parnell 1010, which needs to go up in the loft. Why disgraced? Because the hose broke it again. Ah. And it'll probably go together one again, but it'll break again, so it's all just a... Uh, it just looks so oh, cool. Beautiful. We're probably far up, mate. It's we? amazing that the box looks in the same yeah. shape as the actual machine itself. And then that is the infamous vibrator head. Yeah. What's it called? 
Vibrabeat. Vibrabeat. With a knob that I have no idea what it does. <laughs> There's a van in electric, like 65 floor head there. Oh, that's cool in red. Yes. I've got the machine up in the lock, although it's a bit smashed. And then that's it for there. Okay, let's move into Sam's boudoir, which you never see. Ignore the washing. Ignore the washing. That's what we did last night in the Washy Wednesday video. So this is the output of that when you see it. I'll stand behind me. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll cut and move that in a minute because we've got to move. I'll well, tell you what, stop filming. I'll put that in the other room because in the room, in the room, the door is sleeping. There are no vacuum cleaners. Okay. Just Fair. in the airing cupboard. So let's just stop it. Right, okay, so the washing's now out of the way, so we can see. Uh, this is the one that I brought, which was the um, 5, 560. Electronic. And we're going to be doing a video, Sam's going to be doing a video. Yes, please, because this will probably be the only time that there is an American and a British one in the same place. If we had a bolter, it would be the pet. The, oh, yes, the trio. the trio. But, yeah, so we'll do that quickly. What's that one in the corner? That is the Hot Point Super. With body damage. I haven't turned this on yet either. I haven't done the before video of that yet. In fact, I'll that there. That's a complete exclusive. Yes. And it's only broken very cleanly there. Oh, yes. So I'm hoping that once it's all apart and back together, I can glue it up and it'll be okay. Because the actual handle is only wobbly because that bit's there. Yes. Who knows? It was cheap. Okay, then we're moving along to this green one. Got the Vorwerk, well, this bit of the Vorwerk VK135. Which now, I've seen that on your channel before, haven't we? Um, yes, you probably would have done if this goes out after December, the end of December. So, no, you won't have seen this on my show. You're you're but you, you have another Vorwerk. I had the VK120. Ah, right, that's yeah, where I'm getting one. mixed up, okay. Uh, this one here now we have is the Boss. I bought that back from Mum's about three months ago to refurbish. <laughs> Haven't got around to it yet. Now, I know, this is British, is it? Because this just looks so American. No, this is American. Ah. All ah, right. Okay. Well, so it Mexican, is. It's basically the. This is a Eureka, and this is the British version. But every time I show this and that self-propelled one I had, they go, yes. "Oh, that's a Eureka. That that is really weird." Bashed up as an Electrolux. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because there, there are so many I've you know American yeah. vac collectors that I've seen that love the bagged ones, yes. like Gamer One Four Seven Two. Oh, they are terrible as bagged. Um, I, I prefer the bagged ones as well. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's nice to see that because that. That'll appeal to all the American subscribers. Oh, it'll be sold soon, but probably on Facebook for 20 quid. And this one now, which I love. See, the X1, that works. Now the magnet has fallen off of it, so that's now ready to be refurbished and sold. Magnet? Yes, the magnet that controls the... So it knows when it's reclining up, like, to make the height uh, control work. Falls uh, air, and it don't work. So that was beautiful. That was like tenor. Yeah, I do like the X1. The original extension hose. I do. I miss my Ensign Stealth, which looks oh, so very S2, much like that. Then if we move these out of the way, it gets even worse. Because in this cupboard, oh, -ho! we have wow. Electrolux. So what is that one? We've got the Simline 156, the Simline Electronic 185E, mm -hmm. and the Dolphin Z2220. Oh, wow, that dolphin's pretty cool. I don't think they'll be there. That was where I moved it to make space downstairs for you coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if we move them this way. Ooh. This is only like this because I, I haven't sorted out the loft yet. So I'm hoping that they won't be here forever. Whoa. That is, that's where the Turbo Master sits so it doesn't fade in the loft. Wow. Because it's the only one I've, it's the only machine I've got that isn't faded yet. Oh, that Mila looks good. Beautiful. This is done now. Wow. That's done. I've, I've, I've done the after video on it, although you, you probably would have seen that by the time this comes out. Oh, wow. You've done a really good job on that. It looks it amazing. Really well. And it's got it's the electric um, yeah. power head one as well. Sivo, yeah. which actually myself and Dorian have a video to film with it this weekend. And it, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's being boxed back up and going away. Sivo Airbell C3 power. That's also the electric head. Yeah, beautiful. Really nice. I like Carrying the colour on, the on it. power head. And you probably won't. Oh, this is a bit of a this is a bit of a spoiler actually. I don't know if I'll, I want to show you that. Hang on, because that's done as well. Yeah. So we're not going to show any more of that. <laughs> See that's everything. That's oh my a, god, you've got a nil fist. Oh, oh, it's brutal. Ah, oh, wow. This is absolutely nuts. Although I don't quite know where the hose is. Because when Dave came up, he brought his with him, well, and you so have the it, nice it older one. Really good. This is a modern one, which I have to use a Kirby cable on because this one is broken. 
it's, it's, it's powerful, oh yeah? Oh, it's nuts. Hang on, let me... Okay, we're just going to get it plugged in. Hang on a sec. There we go. Sam's just plugged it in and put the hose on. Oh my God. Wow. It's that is it, powerful. It's unusable because it's got a pneumatic style. Oh, oh my God. Ah, oh, like um, turbo head. No. Ah. Right, okay. You end up literally not being able to push it. Wow. What about a, a turbo head? Is it good with that on it? I haven't tried one. I bet it's immense. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I like that. That's fantastic. Yeah, that, that, yeah that's with various hoses and... And bits and bobs and whatnot. You stick very well because when they're temporarily, well, you know, after videos get filmed yeah. or. Right, let's get all this packed up and we move on to the next wardrobe. Okay, so everything has been cleared away. Uh, what's that? Ah. Yeah, okay, That's yes. That's on your job list. That's on our job list. And ah. Oh. Poor little thing. Horrible little thing. Yes. There's not a lot more in here, actually. Oh, wow. Five big empty boxes out the way. We've got my filing cabinet, my paperwork that's scanned, ah. and then Hoover Duty Data Searcher and the Turbo Master U5078. So that dirt search is yours, it's one that's been yeah. refurbed and everything, yeah? Yes, but it. it that's not mine. That belongs to the same person as the brand hot point downstairs. No, that, that um, turbo. Master Total System. That's a greeny colour. No, it's, oh, it's faded. Be, it's very faded. Yeah, but I, actually, it looks like a, like like the junk will green. Ah, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. But it is like a bluey colour, is it? It's yes. not white. No, it's like a blue. But if you didn't know it was faded, no, it just looks like it would uh, look a, a bit green. Convincing, but yeah, it is terribly faded. Yeah, and, and that's it. It's on my box of paperwork that I haven't scanned. Mm. So where are you going to take us next? There isn't really much else to take. Are I we going to stick the I thing we could up pop the up in, attic? I suppose we could pop up in the loft. Yes. Okay. Let's get that set up. All right. Okay. I can see another vacuum down there. That's oh, yeah. a vax. Bench vac. Bench vac. Oh, benchy. The air compressor that needs repairing. <laughs> oh, there's no vacuums in here. This is just. Oh, I forgot about all of that. The gimp room. Oh, crap. The ladder's in the back, is it? Oh, no, it's at the side. Oh. Uh -huh. It will come out. I've got so many boxes for stuff that I want to sell. I don't want to get rid of the boxes because I don't know what happened. So, the worst ladder in the world. <laughs> Great! Balancing at the top of the stairs. I'm what literally only going to be sticking up the camera. Lights are on. But nobody's home. Nobody's home. Oh, the fan's still on. Yeah, that's not positioned correctly. The back would normally touch. Because it's duct tape, wasn't it? Really? That's where Sam sleeps at night. Ow! Okay. Oh, would you like to come up or would you like me to just film for you? No, that's right, I'll just come up. <laughs> you sure? But I'm only going to be sticking my head up. So, pass me your phone. You ah, there we go. Hold on. So. Dorian is now hanging precariously from the wall. Oh, fuck. Okay, no. okay, I'm Just saying, don't no. fucking move. No. I'll put the backs up here, ladies. So we have a 612 that is a project for somebody else. Back there, we'll have. Oh, actually, here's my Hot Green Junior. <laughs> ah, yes. Which 417G. That was in the shed, but I couldn't live in there over the winter. No, definitely. There's not. my concept one on its back. There's the Goblin Laser. There's my very faded blue Dyson that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. We have the Pneumatic, the Goblin V0800, the Electrolux Turbomatic, which is somebody else's. 
<sighs> the grey turbo master total system my should be beige hoover turbo power total system u2604 oh all right let me just move around this is the only turbo power two that i've kept the turbo power 1000 oh wow which has sort of everything that they all had this is, yes Yay. turn that off that was the last time i was up here was on one of the really hot days there's my da001 that i have been having thoughts about selling there's my dc07 dis, um, not still click that is the hoover 875 we have my 1346a green we have that one the whatever it was there's my hot green and John Quill 652A. This is my Hoover. Oh, oh that's nice. Yes. That's mine, that is. I get to keep that. Oh, wow. With its bulldog sticker on it, although I'm not oh, quite yeah. sure how much that's going to survive. That, that, <laughs> that might be one that's fine to take off. Oh, spin around this way. We have the Dyson DC18 that I've had for years. Oh, and that's another John Quill. Is that the, one of the yeah. John Quill team? Yeah, yeah, it is. Wow. The Goblin Rio, the modern one. That is a 700 megahertz Pentium 3 with 300 and something megabytes of RAM, which will be running Windows 98 eventually. Next to it is my is my Xeon, ancient Xeon. Literally, that's basically the Pentium 4 of Xeons, HP workstation. Oh. Wasn't prepared for this. Very impromptu. Very impromptu. This is my one of my boxes of special things. Uh -huh. So we have original oh. bags. Not quite sure why they're in there. <laughs> they're very rare. That's a bag for Hoover Aquamaster. Oh wow. We, you you still not having. <laughs> I have packs of H4s that I never use. I have compact. Do you have a compact? No. Oh, I've got a few packs of bags. <laughs> Another one, a box of H1. Other rubbish, a nice vintage package of Dyson filters. That is an Electrolux air freshener. Oh, does it still got smell? No, but I think I did have a packed one somewhere. I might still have one that is oh, sealed up. Oh. But you know on the post on the pre-motor filters, that little ring that you yes. can, that's what that's for. Slotted uh... in. My Hoover pen that Stuart from Manchester Vax got me. Yay! Actually, we, probably, we could probably make this video a lot longer by going through all my paperwork and stuff. <laughs> What's here? This! I won't get it out. That's all of my meal ahead. So the Shit Acu Nova is in there. The Powered oh, Seb one's in there. The Parquet Pro is in there. That's just sort of SIBO stuff. That's the Z65 with the smashed handle. I've got a handle for that. This is the other box of cool stuff. So if I take it out off camera, we have... They're not actually genuine. We're not quite sure why they're up there couple of genuine hoover dirt finder lamps oh. there's a couple of uz 500 filters because they're very rare original package of belts i had so many packs of these hmm. a couple of their their pattern parts but they are twin turbo oh, yeah, bearings. bearings yeah there's another filter some original belts for pure power some original junior belts couple of packs of oh please don't fall we'll be done in a minute just don't move yeah no i'm just standing here my foot's gone to sleep there we go a couple of packs of electric 500 brush roll strips i'll come up later and tidy up <laughs> <laughs> oh then we have that's this is actually full of tools as well ah that's uh ah okay this is again where the slightly special stuff goes we have a full lime green set of tools a full DC03 purple set of tools. Oh, yeah. A brand new pit fit dusting brush. Oh, oh, oh. And a wheel for something. The electric sim line. Uh huh. And lots of other stuff. That, that's a, that's a, that actually fits the 345, doesn't it? Yeah, just, just sets. I don't need to be in the shed. Yeah, yeah, they're too much to be kept in the shed. Yeah. Oh, let's move this out of the way. And have 
look at this side, we have there's more random crap in there. That's <laughs> really vacuum related. Oh, there's some laptops here. That's the ThinkPad X60 tablet. God, I remember them. Yeah, I remember. Ah, oh, wow. There's a whack on pen in it somewhere. Oh, wow. That is so cool. <laughs> and then that'll be the T... Uh, where's your camera? There we go. That'll be the T40, I think. Or the T43. One of the two. T40. Oh yes, I remember, that's the button I remember. From yeah. America. Yes. Spent a lot of money on that, for, it was pointless because they're worth it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a horrible Dell Inspire one that I found being thrown away. The paddy was Hackintosh quite well. That is the Miele. Oh, I like that Miele. Um, whatever it's called, Espirit. That's the Electrolux Automatic G. You should probably have a play with that before you go. That's another Z65. I remember, I've seen that one on your yeah. channel before. Yeah, I've done one of them. That's the, there's the Tinco box sat back there. Uh, yeah, that that's about it for up here. There's the V11 box. Yeah. Right, okay. So Ooh, we're gonna nice. get down now before yes. we falls down and maybe we'll make a cup of tea. We'll get some of the other the parts boxes out. Yeah, I've definitely. Got. We'll continue with our little tour of Beko House. Yes. So we come down from the loft. Safely. Yes. You. And I thought I would show Mr. Dorian the paperwork. Ah, very neat and tidy. What have well, we got? This is scanned in and blogged. So everything in this box is on the blog. Wow. In full colour, deep, high resolution scans. Excellent. This is everything I haven't done yet. So this, is <laughs> this is the to do box. Yes, this is all the instruction manuals for various stuff. Oh, I wonder what I've got here that I don't own anymore. I had that cleaner. That's a scan of the original one that I had. I was only a kid. What is it? It's a Hoover Compact, one of the ah. earlier ones. It had the full turbo head as well. Oh, wow. I got rid of it. <laughs> Various turbo power manuals of all shapes and sizes. Oh, wow. That's a scan of a Hoover 45 manual. Oh, my gosh. What year is that from? Um, that's in the 20s, I'd imagine, or 30s. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. Hooverette manual. I don't, have oh. a, I don't have a Hooverette anymore. I don't quite know. That's just a printout. I need to go through all this. Nice Hoover 262 promotional leaflet. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's in mint condition. Yeah, I think that is scanned, actually. Hoover compact instruction manual pack. I'd have had this compact, although not with the power nozzle. In fact, this should probably go to John Self because he got this compact, I think. You see it on my channel. There's the instruction manual from my old Aquamaster <laughs> bench back. Oh! Oh, that's the, um... Ha -ha. Ha -ha. The instructions that for that. Sense. Wow. An original but very battered Hoover 375 manual. Oh, which wow. is a bit torn up. I mean, the manual is the old manual. They, they definitely made them sort of like show stop oh, is really nice some of the wordings hilarious as oh well. i can imagine uh, uh, where is it it's about the bag with the maid <laughs> the daily yeah Pause it, it, it literally mentions about tell your servant or your cleaner to maintain. Oh my gosh, the, the machine lady. or to tell you when it needs maintaining. But another era, yeah, you can tell what these were sort of like aimed yeah. for, they weren't aimed for normal, you know, everyday people. And that's the other style of Hoover 375, okay, manuals here. But you know, all this needs to be scanned in properly and catalogued, and all the other stuff that I do for no real reason at all. So we can tidy up later, can't we? So let's keep it in pile. What else have we got? We have Vax New Wave stuff. Yeah. Here, let's combi back manual. Lots of Vax manuals, which I've printed out years ago, but you can't get them anymore. They take them all off of the net. Oh, right. And I would have printed these out back at like college on the. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. 
And there's that, some Dirt Devil handy stuff. All the manuals for the AG Ultra Captic that I used to have. Huh. Uh, Electrolux Z65 instruction manual. <laughs> With the maid at the front yeah. again. There's one for Rowenta Ro that I don't own. <laughs> I have lots of stuff and stuff I don't own. There's a Dolphin instruction manual. And a glider one. I don't own a grinder. I only do yeah, a dolphin there. Oh. Other scans of Electrolux manuals that again you just can't really find anymore. Oh yeah, the twin twin cleaner super. Yeah. Nothing that exciting in here. But these ones haven't been scanned yet either, no? No, they haven't been scanned yet. And then all of the Dyson stuff. So oh, there yes. is Dyson Absolute Plus, I don't have that anymore. DC07, DC14. Um, don't quite know what that is. That's a, again, that's a photocopy of a DC02 one. Guarantee for a DC01. Huh. A nicer DC07 one, yeah. Nice catalogues. Yeah. Let me look at that top one a second, that. Oh, well. yeah. oh wow. Yeah, that is all the range, so... I think that's my profile picture on Manchester back, so... Uh, what a beautiful lineup that is. A little snippet of that bit of it. So, I've got the yellow one, I've got that one, I've got that one, I don't know if I've got that one, I've got that one, and I've got the click. So, I've got all of those 07s, I think. Yeah. Drop the key to the manual, because I haven't got any 07s. I will, I'll take a, a copy of it, I'll take a photo. Are you sure? I've got many versions of DCS. Oh my god, that is None amazing. None of it's click that I've got, so they don't really do it. XR, that is so, yeah. that's lovely, thank got you so much. Something. Yay! <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll scan this and put this on Instagram. Yeah. And then the people can uh, take a look at it then from Instagram and copy the pictures. But that's nice, because I, I do, the DC07 has got, the, in my opinion, the nicest lineup, hmm. simply because of the range of colours. Yes. So yeah, there's uh, this is a bit of a an announcement, but um, there is one DC07 in that list which isn't in there, which is the DC07 distill. <gasps> I'm not going to say any more. Yeah. So into the other box of befores, it's just I found the manual for that GM80 upstairs. Ah, the Nilfisk. There's the Tinco booklets. Ah, oh, Tinny. Where again it said you only have to clean the filter. <laughs> In the in the thing, oh. every so often. Oh uh, yeah, every after every use. It's a daily maintenance though, so don't feel about it. This is mm -hmm. stuff. There's the Dyson service manuals. I bought a PDF, and again printed. Oh wow, out. that's so cool. At work, whoopsie. Ugh. The pneumatic dealer pack. Oh wow. That I got from Autovac. And When's that dated from? They do normally say, don't they? 2007, the copyright. Oh, that's one, cool. That. Well, actually, we can tell, can't we? People know their head is. Oh my gosh, that, that is era. so cool. So, just pre auto saved by the looks of that. Oh, wow. Yeah. That would definitely be good to scan that with. Yeah. And there's this as well, which only actually has these two in it, which is sort of more. Commercial. Do you want the nice pneumatic folder? Um, yeah, you sure? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's the full one. That, that, that's always uh, excellent. More stuff. Hey! hey. Excellent. That folder will go on display in the back. Well, you can use it. It's just and use it. Two hole pumps. Normal Perfect. One. More witch stuff to scan in. SIBO brochure. More witch. Ah, the full work VK. I scanned the VK120 manual. Ah, oh, yes. All the curvy stuff. Turn the belt lifter to the left in an anti-clockwise position. Yeah, because it is just that simple, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this, this, this feels. Oh yeah, this is this is battered. I have scanned. I've, I've scanned a lot of this. In, actually. That's what's that? The instructions for a Hoover six point two, ah. but it's literally four and apart. <coughs> so all the you see the X seven brochure that Stuart sent me down. Oh wow. Well. Oh, these are all the stickers that I, I use love my XM. to catalog stuff. We don't need that.
Ah, these are all of the dice and exploded diagrams from the DC01 to the, I think, DC40. Oh, like maintenance DC instructions. Or just diagrams. A, ah. These are all scanned in, I think, because I had this. This was bound up. I I, I unbound it, ran yes. all the pages through the big scanner at work, and yes. then rebound it, hence why it's in TNT Post Orange. <laughs> uh, there's printed out labels for that box, which I <laughs> have. <laughs> yeah, they're all. I should spend half an hour sorting this out today, actually. So it's really nice to see this. This is the second box it's been in. The, the, the first box destroyed itself. When was the last time you opened these up and had a look? Um, a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> the I've owned but owner's manual because I do still have my room book. Oh. Ah, the Becco book. The Becco manual. This was a pay. I paid five euros for this. Oh, I wow. thought it was a whole magazine. It is, isn't it? No, it's just one page. <gasps> no. It was an advert. <laughs> because it was all in French. It was what? a French eBay thing. Oh, no. But, but still, it's nice to have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the manual for the Electrolux turbo polisher that I have. Oh wow, I've never seen that. The Unifit vacuum cleaner bag catalogue. Ah, uh, right, okay, yeah. Oh, they're actually more retro -y witches. Oh, yes. You can have a read of these at some point. I think somewhere. I think one of these has a vacuum cleaner one in there. But I think it, it might be scanned in. A Moonine I don't own, a Bosch I don't own. I've got those on the computer. They were scanned in by the collector for the, the How It Works series. Ah. Okay, more dice and stuff that I think is duplicated. These are some more new, okay, yeah, scanned on blogs. So I, I need to have a big sort So they're out. already on, yeah. Pneumatic stuff, what's that? Oh, that's the manual for the Grey Turbo Master. Ah, yes. U5078 and U5080. What was the difference between the two? One well, would I don't know. Yeah. These are nice. These are my fold out. Oh, they're nice and. Oh, wow. Henry posters. Again, this would have been when the EU stuff first came uh, in on that yes. one. And the same on that one, but for the commercial ones. The commercial ones. Wow, that's so cool. I think this one does it as well. For the very short lived green ones that they did. <laughs> then, again, they all need to be stored properly because they're benders. Ah, this was nice. Somebody on Autoshite posted me this. Yeah. Didn't mention anything about it. It is. It's a complete sod to scan in because it's huge. For the Electrolux like 735 Auto from New Zealand, South oh, Australia. You, yes, so because when because when I was in um, Australia, yeah, um, I featured one that I didn't have time to do anything with. Oh, really? Well, what at the these? yeah at the end of the video, ah. um, but it was it wasn't switching on. Uh, uh, yeah, which could have so, been either very simple or an absolute. Yes. Pain. So um, yes. Cool, but I, I'm not sure I'm going to scan that yet because it's. So if you go back and three. check on my Hoover Lux abroad videos, they, it, it's yeah. on there somewhere. Another Hoover pen. Hey. Okay. Oh, we're getting there now, people. Well, this is all the pattern was that I bought for that and whatnot. <laughs> ah, this, this is this will be from when I had a DC40. I uh -huh. had a broken swivel lock car, but it was still under warranty, so it got registered to Mum's house, and the Dyson man came and fitted a new swivel lock for free. Huh. And well, then I saw it. Hoover Pure Power Manual. Yes. A Fax 6121 manual. Oh, ooh. These are good. Ooh. These might need their own video. Ooh. We should do a video on them. The first oh of the God, pneumatic wow. Christmas cards that were sent to dealers. And because this went to Autoback, that used to be. They were all the Henry postcards. Oh my gosh, they would make fantastic scanning. I think, again, I, I think these probably are scanned. There you go, look, and you could buy here Christmas 2017. 500 for 150 quid. Wow! On nice pneumatic letterhead. Oh wow, that's so cool. Buff paper. I knew heavy artist. Yeah. So that's very special. The 
breakfast. Even with the pneumatic post, <laughs> fuck on the envelope. That is so cool. From head office to the deans. Oh, what else? We're getting boring now. We have no, no, no. The manual for U four one eight six, which actually looks very much like the one that was up in the north. Oh yes. Hoover Super Sprint. An Autovac Henry Air Freshener for the car. <laughs> Dennis had them made. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, Autovac brochures. An original pack of DCO1 filters. How much was it? Huh? How much does it say on the sticker? £10.99. Whoa! An early pack of DCO1 filters. That's a Hoover Compact pre made filter. This is, where the, this is where all the old Dyson stuff is, you know, with the old Dyson logo. Ah, uh, yes. This is quite cool. This is a, you want to get it close, it's a complimentary filter. Oh, that came in the box with... Um... I would presume so. Oh, wow. So if you have previously owned a conventional vacuum cleaner, your Dyson could collect an unusually large amount of dust, mm -hmm. which your old vacuum cleaner may have left behind. We recommend you change the pre-motor filters because obviously Dyson DC1 filtration is a bit shit. Mm -hmm. In 14 days. Couple of packs of... Oh, I've got a box of I them. I picked them up cheap on eBay. A... In fact, there's one in here as well. Ah, is that an original air freshener? Original oh, air freshener. that's like that's hen's teeth. Two of those I've got now. Ooh. And there is a third somewhere. Yes, it, it's here, look. In the old style packaging. Oh, wow. I think, I think there's one more somewhere, because I was going to use one, but I can't remember which one I was going to use. It might still be in the shed. This is the... Dyson, oh, hang on. Oh, mate, so sorry about that. I've just had my gas safety done. That was the gas man. And it passed, excellent. Yeah, wouldn't have bothered if it didn't. I was just trying to find the number. So finishing off this box, we have the Dyson Demo Tin. Yes, I've, see, I've seen that before, but yeah. ages, years ago. Full of oats, still there. This will be a Qualtex mug. I've got one of these at work as well. Ah. And Excellent. I, I did have one at work, but it, it cracked. I dropped it in the sink. I have so many bags of layers. It's brilliant. Yes. Yeah, they are the only company really left that at least cares because they used to poach Hoover engineers back in the 70s and 80s to go mm. work for them and produce all the spares. So as much as people do, you know, take the mickey out of pattern parts, they are one of the best. And in this tin, it's just lots of random rubbish, really. There's a, a, a how to fit a belt to a Dyson DC01. There's... An autovac post-it note thing. Oh wow! With some business cards. Little autovac torch. Still working. Yeah. An autovac pen. I think that that's got a torch on it as well. Another autovac pen. So I've got many autovac pens, and then this. What is that? The Dyson ballpoint pen. Ah. Oh, wow. Hey. When is that from? The mid-2000s. It's online. If you Google Dyson pen, it, it all comes up. It's milled out of aluminium. Wow. I don't quite know how to take it apart. So they I went, put more yeah. quality in the pens than they did in the machines. Designed by Dyson. <laughs> the Dyson pen. I used it for about a month at work before I sort of thought it was possibly a little bit too special. Yes. To use for tube. that. So, yeah. So, I remember in one of your old videos, you had a tin of Dyson dust. Yes. Um, that's not it, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's oats, is it? Yes, yeah, it's just oats. I don't, uh... Oh, I thought they had sort of like a, a powder they put into it. it. It is basically oats and flour. It's probably the worst thing to use to demonstrate a Dyson. I presume they didn't show the filter afterwards. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, we can cook it up if you want. <laughs> yeah, it's just oats and flour. Oh, okay. Yeah, in a little demo mm. tin. I like that little tin, it's pretty yeah, cool. I, like it. I can't remember who gave it to you. I think it, it, it was somebody who used to work for Dyson. So, wow, that is really good. We have had a really good in depth video of behind the scenes. We've got a bit more. Oh, gosh. We've won. Oh, gosh, we have. We have enough for this one. Have you seen my proof book? Oh, what? No. Again, this is fully scanned in and on the blog. It's for the Kirby Generation. Uh, Three, whatever it is. Now, isn't it? It's a pretty That's got the Kirby vacuum. 
Are you going to do another shampoo demonstration when you have it in reverse? <laughs> <laughs> Woof! Yeah. yeah, oh look, it all sucked it up. And then yeah, in here is just brochures. These are all the pneumatic brochures. Little things like the introducing Harry and I've got a Hetty. Ah, uh, to put on your shop. Placard um, card, yes. Lots of stuff like this. There's I probably won't, I won't get it all out now because I was just going to go on for half an hour. And <laughs> I have done it before on you my need, channel. Yeah, you need to do another one, an update one. But somewhere will be, and I wrote to the Matic about these, and I tore the envelope up before I thought, oh, I best keep that. Stickers. Henry faces. Ooh. Two. Oh, yeah, and um, they sent me. And I remember those on vacuum cleaners. Ah, uh, yes. I love it. I've seen that. But unfortunately, I actually wrote to them asking for the script of the Matic for my bashed up MVR. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, they don't do that anymore, but they oh. sent me these instead. I'm, I won't ever use them, which is a little bit. I might use one. I don't know. You really can't get them anymore. And no, nobody's, it's very rare. Nobody's made them, sort of, you know. It should be, it's very easy to make them. If anybody can make them, I'll happily measure that. Yeah, they could take the scan and, on then, the print, and then print so them out uh, uh, sticker size. What else is there? There's Hoover brochures. That's a decent one. Here Here's my one from the 60s. Oh my God, that is so cool. There you go. Actually, there oh, I've seen those. We scans. were talking about, yeah, you wouldn't have looked, and we were talking about this in the, in the previous video. There's oh, yes. the Hoover 417G. There's the matching constellation, yeah. Hooverette, Dustnet, Senior, Polisher. That's the Polisher vacuum, and that's the Polisher without the wash bit. Huh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Again, it's a complete sod to scan in. <laughs> and that's why it, it all sits in these, so it's flat, and I'll put them away later. But yeah, there's literally everything you can think of that's scanned in. Oh, I like that one. Is yeah. that the glass one, what they call the glass? I think so. Because it became so fragile, they're as fragile as glass. U2336, I want to say. Yeah. Oh, wow, that is so cool. Telepower Autoflex, U2336, yep. I've had a fair few of those. I've had one of those. Yes, I've had a yeah, couple of them. Let's play tick off. We've both seen one of those. Yes. And I'm sure you've done a video on it. That's the earlier version of the one that's up in the loft. That's the dust cup version. I've had a few of those polishes before. There's my Sensotronic system before. It's as white as it should be. Oh, wow, yes. <laughs> and I know that Mr. John Self has that one. Is the talking head one there, the talking one? No, this is the generation before that. Ah, uh, okay. The compacts. Again, we've seen one of those on my channel, the compact electronic with the power head. Oh, gosh, budget. Yes, budget. And then... Aquamaster, is it? Yes, the Aquamaster and the Aqua Plus. The little wet dry suction only one. Yes, there's all those. I think they have to put it in there. It, it's very hard to know what to pull out because obviously it's all... It's all interesting. This yes. is being B&Q brochure, for example. The date's from... When is it date from? I'm sure I date. 2004. So you've got oh, things like when Vax used to do commercials. Dyson DCO4, an 05, an 08. I had that steam cleaner. Is that ca Karcher? Karcher's, oh, yeah, wow. all their steam cleaners, yeah. It's just little bits like that, it's just interesting. Yeah, you could spend hours and hours. Well, that's why it's all scanned in. Through, Everything yeah. I'm showing you now is in, is scanned in. This is Ryan Campbell's favourite brochure, the Kerstar brochure from the 80s. Oh, I've heard of that brand. For the very rare commercial vacuum cleaners. Hmm. Actually, every brand. Shout me out a brand. Um, uh, Electrolux. Electrolux brochures. Hey, hey. So we have. A set of 1920s. Oh. The boxes. Filter pads. The wow. boxes. But yeah. Oh my gosh. In grease proof paper. Yeah, I don't want to. Oh, it's all in that. Yeah. 
the original filter pads, and I've got one of this. Is, this is look, that that is for that. The next one will be them. So it will get one because why not? Electra Lux Rise, Mr. Hoover Lux. We have oh, this is a nice. This is this is like a this is one of those ones that's like a Bible. It's the Electra Conceivables 1994 to 1995, but it covers everything. So we have dolphins, they're a bit modern. Dolphins, the older ones. Oh, yes. Turbomatic, we saw it up in the loft. Yes. 2000 series, I've got a 2000 in the shed. The slim lines, the 345s, everything. It is just an absolute Bible of parts. Same with that one, that's from the 80s. Genuine cleaner. And it lays everything out. Right. And I sent little snippets of that to like reply to Facebook posts and whatnot. If people, there's another consumable spares catalogue. And another one. <laughs> there's all the Electrolux stuff. AG, all the witches, Samsung, Dyson brochures, that's the thickest one. Goblin. Ooh, what's this that? is quite cool. It's the Electro Complete Parts catalog. But somewhere. Is the vacuum cleaner section. <laughs> so we have things like my oh, sixty yeah. my my sixty one thirty SX is in there. I used to see Vax those all the time winter. when I was a kid. Those Aquavax. It's upside down. Stuff I've never really seen on. They would have been running late then. I've got brochures from them for the eighties. Steam cleaners, stick backs. I think there's some there's more. I think I came onto it a bit soon. Let's go backwards. <laughs> Nil fist commercial. Is that the GM80? No, it's the advanced. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, the ones that really expensive. Henry, look. Ah, uh, yes. That so style of Henry, Electrolux, Mondos, Panasonics, Bosch. You can you can tell the era. Are the prices on them? There is a way to do it. It's in the code. Hang on. Before, oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so. This Goblin Aztec would be £40.85 if you bought two or more, or £41.86 if you just bought one. Huh. That's how the things work out. So by the time we get to, say, the DC-04 Zorbster, if we can just find its code, which it doesn't have. Oh, we go. That, um... £217.87 pence for your DCO4 Zorbster. I think I'll scan What is that? That's the Zorb dispenser. But that's a separate machine, is it? Or no? No, the, oh, there's a switch yes. that drops the motor voltage down. So yes. it just brooms. You see my video. I remember right? that. It's yes. a bit crap. Johnny and Eight did Oh, look at them. Business. Yeah. Then DCO3s. Oh, we got £190.64 for your DCO3. Four. Still. Panasonic icons, Electrolux baglesses. Oh, there it is. Look, and it's just, it's a great reference guide. Wow. Yeah, oh, look, there's the icon there. Yeah. There's the. the How much is that one? One hundred and thirty-six pounds sixty. It's basically normal pricing, but without the decimal place. Wow. The last that the turbo power junior that ran until the end of time. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Seventy-two pounds. I've had one. They've got a not. They've got a nice motor in them. Electroluxes, but what they're actually also is to keep everybody watching. Washing machine. Yeah. Hey! So actually, that will be interesting as well to yeah, see what they've got. Irons. I know people that collect the irons. I know people that collect hair dryers. I did flick past it. Is a fantastic just yeah, reference point to anything appliancey. There we go. Well, the, 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 there's only a couple of pages to watch, okay. but there you go. So we got the front loading. So that one is what's the price of that? I don't one? know actually. It hasn't got the That's same. It's got a code. different coding system. Yeah, it hasn't got the same code. Hoover. Obviously, sold these differently. 
Lots of to base your tumble hoover, dryers. <laughs> they obviously didn't sell very many of those. But it, dishwashers, Hoover dishwashers, dryers, hair dryers. Oh wow! CD players. Oh my those? gosh! Uh, well, look at the TVs. Any? There's not one flat screen well, there. They were still selling CRTs back oh in 2000. Asked by 2001. 2001, yeah. So it is a bit older than we thought. Yeah. TVs that I remember. My grand had that with that stand because they still keep their current TV on it now. VCR <laughs> players, look. Just... Handy cams. Oh, oh LG. When it, so, yes, when it was. That was, like... would have been when it first went to LG from Gold Star. Yeah. That's £75. Pounds. TV aerials, and then we get to sort of the more niche of your stuff, lighting, consumables, but I don't think they're back here. It's just everything. Yeah, there is everything. Wow, it's like an Argos book <laughs> on steroids. Yep. Oh. This is the Anderson Electrical Information Pack. Who's Anderson? They don't exist anymore. From 1994. Oh, my Qu gosh. Qualtex. Qualtex, oh yeah. And I imagine they'd have had, there'd have been three or four people whose job it was to keep this up to date, fax it out to dealers. Prices, but then it gets a little bit interesting because after the Qualtex stuff, you start getting things like this. So from Qualtex, mm. your 1994 HVR 200, if you bought one, would have been 77 pounds. Wow. George would have been £132. Let me get to Electrolux. It's a bit of Electrolux. Again, this is all scanned in. And again, it's, it's quite nice to find the you know actual manufacturer's code. So you can type yes. into eBay. So you look for filters and you just type looking in for code. a specific one, yeah. Then we get ah. interesting. This is all scanned in. A yellow George. Yeah. Wow, I I, and this is, this is how I remember them from my childhood. And you, this must be fairly familiar to you as well. So I, I, really? Apart from seeing them in shops and or See, places, I, that I never knew anybody benign. that had one as a, as a house fact. They were the old drawings wow. of it. And it's beautiful. Then we get to dirt. Oh my level. god, that's really crap. Oh, actually, they're not too bad. <laughs> yeah, these are better than they were then. Look, yeah. Nigel Mansell uh, uses one to vacuum yes, up hairpins. Does, of course, Would you yes. want to vacuum up hairpins with a dirt devil handy? Uh, that's a dirty fan vacuum. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Oh, what is that? That's, they're quite sought after. If you ever see one, grab it. They're, that's a dirt devil broomy. <laughs> Even they're a broomy. <laughs> Another rare one. <laughs> this is everything. I think I've used one of those when I was a little child. It's, it was definitely a dirt devil. But yeah, it's just a time capsule. It's just wow. the 90s. Yes. Isn't it? And yeah, it just ends like that, and it's just fantastic. Wow, well, that is interesting, that I'm, is. Yeah. There's nothing else quite that interesting, definitely, I think. <laughs> let me get to the instruction manuals that I scanned in. Ah, uh, so There's all the Dyson ones. Electrolux. Ah, uh, yes, contours. This is a Model 25. Very old. Very retro. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Where's the picture of the maid? <laughs> Doesn't have one. It's just lovely. Yeah. What's that? A toolbox. Ah, that's loud. Because they were the coming in the box, box, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guarantee slip. Will you please forward your my parts on TV? What is it? Threepence apenny. Doesn't say uh, six shillings per dozen. Three somethings per half dozen. Hey, well, you, you like the electrode, don't you? So what electrode manuals do I have? There, there's the all that one. We have yeah, we have a contour one. Oh yes. We have a power plus one. We have an. I've, I've got two of those actually. If I've got two of these. I don't know, but, but they are different. It's Volta Electrolux. Yes. I had a Volta Beetle, it looked like one of those bags I just saw. Yeah. Scott brought it over from Australia. Yeah, they were the Australian dude. All the Panasonic service manuals. I checked it, I wish I'd kept it now. Oh, Seaborn. I've got a Phoenix instruction manual. I don't own a Phoenix though. Did you have, do you have a manual of yours? Uh, I wouldn't use it to be honest. That's 121 manuals. There's a couple uh... of different variations of that. 
more trade publications. So these, this, this, this will go for more trade. Like we've got laminated, oh yes, this is good. <laughs> laminated parts diagrams. And then this, which again, I spent hours at work scanning it in. This is a little cutout annoyingly, but of all oh, the filters well, yeah. that you can get. And a nice glimpse at whatever age a DC-16 would have been 380 quid. Huh. And then this is, a gen this is a genuine Dyson one, but made for Connect. It's all of the prices as well, but exploded oh, exactly. dealer diagrams. Ah. Parts lists, exploded diagrams. It's very nice indeed. That's how you know so much about stripping the Dysons then. It just helps. You go, oh, what do I call that? Mm. Oh, I wonder what that's called so I can try and buy a new one because it's broken. And everything like that. And then we're getting to the end now. Where were we? Dirt Devil, me. Goblin, that'll be the pack for the Goblin Rio mm. that's in the box in the loft. G Tech, I seem to have a G Tech instruction manual. Another Kirby one. The ISSA Interclean 2016 pneumatic brochure. So when they've gone to all the stupid sizes. Mm. This is all scanned in as well. It was a pain in the bum to scan in. I hope you all read it. <laughs> Heavy cordless. Oh, that's when it first came out. <clears throat> There's lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff, and then it all goes on to the commercial, oh, the commercial and ones. And it's exactly the same, but in 2015, <coughs> although this is actually just a pneumatic brochure. No cordless there, is there? I don't think so, not 2015, no. is it? Yeah, that's basically. Love it. That is really good. All of my stuff. Yeah, eventually it will all be scanned in, and I won't have to keep it in two boxes, and I can tidy them. But yeah, so right. So we'll put all these back together now, and then we'll. F oh, should we finish off the video now? Finish off now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Let me just pop you on stop a second. So there we go, my little whippersnappers. That is a behind the scenes tour at Sam's Beko, nineteen eighty seven. Thank you so much for showing us all around Anytime. behind the scenes and all the brochures and everything. That was fascinating. I loved watching that. That's beautiful. Okay. So, yeah. We'll keep the Hoover ones out because you can go for a pop with a cup of coffee. Don't yeah, you? exactly. Take a look at them. Okay, so I'm going to say thank you very much to Sam for showing us around. Anytime. I hope thank you, you guys have time. enjoyed. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. Check out the blog if you want to see any of this box is all scanned in there we go so, so everything is there so if there's anything that interests you then yep no problem at all so thank you very much for watching please comment like and subscribe uh sam's channel uh, link will be in the video description so go and check it out and subscribe and i think we will see you guys very soon so bye y'all